I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a problem on energy and photons. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, a professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the author and creator of Orgoman and the Death Destroyer books. I want to go over a real challenge problem with you on energy and photons. Before we go into the data, we should know three formulas. And we should know that energy is equal to Planck's constant H times F. So E equals A H F. You should also know that energy is equal to H C divided by lambda, where lambda is the wavelength, and that's what I'm going to be using today. So come around and let's take a look. A certain wavelength of light is 1 to the minus 2 meters. And what I want to do is to calculate the number of photons needed to heat 10 grams of water from 25 to 30 Celsius. And the heat capacity of the water is given as 4.184 joules per gram Kelvin. Now, the first thing I'm going to do here is that there's two things. I see the word wavelength, and I'm asking for what's the needed heat. Now, heat is energy. So my first move is to use the formula E equals HC lambda, where H is Planck's constant, C is the speed of light, and there's the wavelength in meters. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to plug in. The H is given to you, 6.63 to the minus 34th, that's given. 3 to the 8th is the speed of light, that's in meters, and this was in meters. So when I did this, I got 2 to the minus 23rd joules. That's the energy for a single photon. All right, now what? We give you a problem involving heat, and if you remember, the, the formula for heat equal is Q, which is the heat, equals mass times the specific heat times the delta T. The mass is 10 grams, the specific heat is 4.184. A change in Celsius is 5. It goes from 25 to 30. A change in Celsius is also the ch a change in Kelvin. So even though this is Kelvin and this is Celsius, the change of 5 Celsius is 5 Kelvin. So the delta T is 5. That gave me the total amount of joules, 209.2. Now, the question is, we want to find the number of photons. So how would I do it? Well, we have two numbers. We know that one photon is 2 to the minus 23 joules. If you times that by 209.2 joules, the joules cancel out, and you're left with photons. So it's going to be 209.2 over 2 to the minus 23rd, and you came up with approximately 1 to the 24th photons. Um, you want to make sure you remember for the DAT exam, you, you want to know that energy equals HF, energy is also HC lambda, and finally frequency times wavelength equals the speed of light. These are your three equations you should bring into the DAT. Don't forget, H is the constant Planck, C is a constant, the speed of light. These are given to you on the DAT exam. As you can see here, Energy and frequency are directly related. It's a guaranteed type of question. And also, if you were to compare energy and wavelength, they're indirectly related. Energy goes up, wavelength goes down. And the same thing for frequency and wavelength. You can see from either formula, these are indirectly related. It means if the frequency went up, wavelength would go down. All right, that will end this clip. If you got any questions, you can hit me up in our Facebook study group. Good day to you. Bye-bye.